Okay, guys, uh, let's get going with uh, the second part of this, right? So our, our next test is going to be to test whether or not the, uh, the overlapping of these surfaces is, is in fact um, 60% or within our acceptable range of plus or minus 5%. So I realized that I kind of made a mistake per my instructions. Uh, I wanted the test to, to result in blue for the floor plan. So, yeah, I mean, green's good, but blue is what I wanted for the floor plan. And, and I'm not going to do the whole uh, site thing here. I'm just going to simulate my site by putting a rectangle around it. So um, the, the bounding box, or, or sorry, not bounding box, the uh, B-Rep, B-Rep, right? That got us the coincident surface. That was, was, that was this one right here. If I turn everything else off and turn this one on, you'll see what I mean. It's that one. So what I need to test is I need to kind of pick one to be the first floor. And then I need to calculate how much of the first floor is covered by that area. So um, I think what I'll do, let me just turn this one on right here. And that's, that's good. I'm going to choose that one. Um, <clears throat> so I mentioned to a few of you at this point that nothing really changes in this except for the percentages and how you calculate the square footage in, that you're gonna test for. So this whole section, all of this, can be copied and pasted down, and then we're gonna replace those connections. I know it's looking a little bit messy, but I'll walk you through that pretty slowly. Um, let me clean some of this up so that it's a little bit um, easier to understand and to read. I'm just generally going to try to get these to look a little bit cleaner. I don't know what that means, Yvonne. I know when Yvonne is frustrated. Okay, so um, so that's our top one. That is uh, going to be for our square footage test. Now I'm working on the bottom one. So um, the the calculation is just ever so slightly different. What I need to test is the percentage. So I need to take the uh, area of the coincident surface, that's this one right here, and divide it by the area of the overall first floor plate. And um, so I'm gonna go to surface analysis and I'm just gonna grab area again. And in fact, I'm just gonna yank all this stuff back a little bit further to give me some room. <coughs> I'm going to need two of these, and I can plug um, my first floor surface. And you might want to name this one. You, it's up to you. Um, but you kind of need to know which one is. is... Yeah, you can use Wi-Fi cables if you want. So that was my first floor plate. This one is going to be my um, coverage. That's this right here. So I'm going to yank these down here. Don't mind the messiness. I'll fix all that later. Um, so the area is just a simple division under math, operators, and division. I'm going to divide the, uh, the coverage area by the first floor plate. And Dropping in a panel real quick, that gives me 0.34. It's too small. Yeah. So <clears throat> I will um, get rid of that. And so this 30% is going to be the testing factor uh, for both of these. So I can um, replace the, the, um, the, the uh, sorry, the testing percentages. That would be, this one right here is going to be a 0.65. And this one right here is going to be a 0.55. Thank you. And then you can plug these in here and here. Now, you'll notice, and I know some of you are probably falling behind, but at this point we didn't do too much. We just did that, really. Um, but we can finish this off really, really fast. And all I need to do is 
reference this surface. So let me make a copy of this. And this curve is going to be my overall site. And I need to replace the actual um, surfaces here that are going to be rendered. And right now I have both of the floor plans referenced. I don't need to do that. I just need the site itself. That's this. So I'll drag this over here and reconnect my site to that. OK, so now this is actually properly rendering. So I'm going to just control my visibility, turn that off, turn all of my meshes on. So right now I'm failing low. You knew that because it was 0.35. So I just keep messing with my second floor and get it to um, cover properly. And that's where I get blue. And if I cover too much, it's going to go orange. Well, this should actually be green. Now, um, what do you notice that's wrong? Right. Well, I can't really see the floor plan, right? I want to be able to see both of them. So since this is purely analytical, real quick, I'm just going to go here um, to my perspective view. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to elevate it about a foot so that you can see both. All right. So that is it, really. Um, I know, I know. <laughs> so here's, um, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to get it ready for you guys to, to work with and, and get caught up on. But altogether, I think that you guys are, are definitely ready to start doing stuff like this on your own. Sure you are. Don't doubt yourselves. All right, so here we go. I'm going to recap all of this for you, all of it. We started off with our uh, two floor plan surfaces. Then we, um, we did our area analysis of those two floor plans. We added them together. And then we created this test right here. We created this test to make sure that it is either above or below 5,800 or, or to make sure that it's within that range, OK? So I think you guys got this because we did this very, very slow. Now, I did the next part a lot faster because it's exactly the same thing. All I had to do was copy exactly that system down, change the surface that I referenced, change the numbers that are being tested, and then I just found a new number to test it against for just a different comparison. So. I'll give you guys a few minutes to catch up on that. What questions do you have generally before I come around and troubleshoot? Uh, yes. The G's from the area, what is connected to which ones? Um, good question. So these two areas are testing the floor plate areas, mm -hmm. the overall floor plate areas, not combined, not the bounding box, right? So these two areas are testing the area that we found by using B rep B rep, mm -hmm. that's the coincident coverage area, and our first floor. That would be that one right there. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah.